Hey. Yeah, I got my bunny on tonight. Hey, Coldplay. Hello, everyone. Hello. Yes, it's uh, it's seven o'clock. I'm done for the night. Good night. Good night. Good afternoon. Good evening. Good morning. Good everything, wherever you are. I have my um. I had bought this um football Falcons throw. Oh, hold on, guys. Hold on for a second. Let me turn it so it won't it won't uh mute. Hold on. Okay, I fixed it. Can you all hear me? Give me a a, a one if you can hear me. Oh, okay, cool. Okay. Yeah, what I was saying. Today is the 24th, so today marked two months since um, my best friend, my husband, passed away. And I had bought him this um, Atlanta Falcons throw. It's a football team. It was his favorite team. And I had sprayed it with this his favorite cologne that I used to buy him all the time. And more like I gave it a bath in it. But it's so comforting to me. Cause I, I I sleep with it. I sleep with this blanket, and it's so comforting to me because it smells just like him. It smells just like him. I love that cologne. It was Paul Sebastian, and like I said, I think I I poured the whole bottle. I think on on this throw because this was the last thing, one of his favorite things. The last thing I bought him for Christmas, and. Like I said, I just I just took the bottle and I just uh, started throwing the bottle all all over this throw and it smells just like it smells just it smells just like him and I sleep with it and there was one bottle of cologne I I didn't give away I didn't give it to my son I gave him it was two bottles a big bottle and a smaller bottle and I kept the smaller bottle and. I just, this is just so comforting to me. It's just like, it's just like having him right here. And I sleep with it. I, I do. I sleep with this, I sleep with this throw. So you can call it weird or whatever, but that's okay. Let me have my weird. Let me have mine. You know, someone was mean to me yesterday, last night. I don't like what they said to me. I was so, you know, and I, I didn't get upset with them. Hey, good morning. I mean, good evening. Hey, Red Bird. I don't like what they said, but you know, it didn't bother me because uh, they left. They took down what they had said. So, oh, yeah, they, they were being ugly. Just being ugly. Yep, I did. I did. Little Nikon Poon. That was a Nikon Poon. Yep. So, so how have how have you all been? It's been a while since I was on here. Um, I went to Florida and spent some time with my son and my daughter in law, my little millennial babies, because that's what I call them, my little millennial babies. Oh, you getting sick? Oh no! I'm so sorry to hear that. Oh, yeah, let me tell you what I did. I went to that Disney, not Disney, that Universal Water Park. Let me tell y'all about that water park. Volcano Bay. They live up to that name, Volcano Bay. Because the whole park is like beach, right? And I have mobility issue. So... Because it's beach, it's like sand. It's the whole thing is just sand. So some parts of it, your foot goes deep. Then some parts of it doesn't go deep because it's just like a beach. I couldn't walk. It was so hard for me to walk. And then they have this section that they say is um it's designated for um the disabled. You can't use your wheelchair there, you can't use your cane or your walker or anything because it's sand. I had a 
terrible, terrible, terrible time. It costs $80 to get into that park. And I don't like water parks anyway. Actually, I despise water parks. So I didn't plan on doing anything there anyway. I just want to get to a seat, sit down, so Caitlin can have herself a good time. But it was terrible. Oh, I had I had a terrible. Oh, I hate. Oh, I didn't like that water park. I wanted to go to universe uh, to an amusement park theme park. You know where I can ride around in my chair and people watch. But I went to that water park with her because she had been trying to, you know, my baby. Hello, one. Hey, one. Hey, and oh, I mm -mm, I don't like water parks. Oh. And then she had a fit that she wanted to uh, go to Jaboli, Jubilee, Jabali, Jollibee, Jollibee. And I was fascinated with Jollibee because I wanted to try that uh, ube fried pie because I'm curious about ube because I've been wanting to make an ube uh, cheesecake. And so, but the ube yam is so hard. Is that ube yam, you know, you. I have been trying to get uh, ube, some ube yams for almost two years. Never can get them. So, um, but I I did get my ube yam. I mean, my ube halaya, whatever you call it. It's the ube jam. I did get it. So, I am going to be making my ube cheesecake. Because the ube fried pie was supposed to be mine, but Caitlin ate it. She ate it. I got one bite and it was divine. So water parts smell like feet. <laughs> what did you say? Well, not this one. Did did the, I didn't move? Once I sat down, I did move. I do not like water parts. I just think they're just one big giant liquid petri dish, just full of germs. <laughs> I don't like water parts. I'm having a good day. Um, you know, as they say, it as time goes on. Um, this week I didn't do any cooking. This week I had to. I decided to take some baby steps. I cleaned out his closet this week. Oh, you went to the lake. It was so... Oh, I don't like the lakes either. I just don't like water. That's just me. That's I just don't like water. So, like I said, I went... So, I cleaned out his closet. Because I realized I have to start somewhere. And... And when I when I got to a point where I thought I when I got to a point where I would get emotional about packing things, I would stop. I would take a break, and then I would go back because I have to start somewhere. And you know, it's not like I'm not rushing. I'm taking my time because it's not easy. And so, um. I did get the closet cleaned out, and I'm very proud of myself. I did get the closet cleaned out. Um, got one of his closets cleaned out. So um, I can't say I'm proud of myself. Hey, Zuri from USA and everywhere in Iran. Hello. So um, I didn't cook this week. I was so busy, so busy. Because I worked on a little bit at a time every day this week. And I gave myself time to um, keep it together. I didn't try to do it all in one day. Um, so that's what I did. And then I had doctor's appointments this week. So thank you, Redbird. Progress comes at your own pace. Until you are so proud of you. Thank you. So, you know, I, I'm not rushing. I'm going at my pace, so, and I, I feel, felt good about it. Yeah, and, you know, that's what I'm doing. I'm moving at my pace, and finally, um, 
And I, I just figured I have to start somewhere. And I may not touch anything of his for a couple of weeks. And that's okay. I have realized that's okay. But I'm going to um, join a grief group of spouses. Um, because when Caitlin goes to school, it's so lonely here. Because I'm used to having him here with me during the day. And it's so lonely here. And um, because I can hear a pin drop. And um, so I'm I I need an outlet. I need an outlet. You know, my therapist can't help me. I can't talk to her every day. Uh, you know, I only talk to her once a week. Okay. So um it's air YouTubers need breaks. It's air you huh? It's all right, YouTubers. Oh, yeah. Yeah, everyone needs a break sometimes. I didn't cook it all this week. I, I I had to focus on me up here, in here, just me as a whole. And today, like I said, and today was a bad day for Caitlin. Caitlin had some struggles today. Um, His PS5, because he loved his video game, it hadn't been touched. It was the same way as he left it. So she started playing the game. That's why I'm not in my she room. And so she's in there. So I decided to just let her have that room. So, Chris, we don't follow for the food. We follow for you. The food is. Oh, that's so sweet. Thank you. Thank you. Yes. No, I don't. You know, you guys know I don't. Um, I can't. I don't cook every day. Um, I just don't. When you know my good days, I subscribe. Thank you, Muhammad Shadil. You know, love from Egypt. Hey, Egypt. Yep. So, um, I hope all of you have had a good weekend, and um, it's probably nighttime where some of you are. Yeah, that's um, I just love people. I'm a good. I'm a people person. I love people. <laughs> well, thank you, hottest in surface. Yes, welcome all new new nieces and nephews. Welcome to the family. Welcome, welcome, welcome. My little silly dog, little Dusty. You know he's under the bed. Get my. Refreshment. He's snoring like an old man. He's sm but that's my partner. That's just my little ride or die partner. And I literally mean that he go where I go. I can't even go to the bathroom without that dog. Nope. Can't breathe without the dog. Can't go to the bathroom without the dog. Can't go because because he sleeps up under the bed. When I if I get up and move, he moves. Thank you, Coplay. Yeah, I appreciate all you guys' support. You all just don't know. You've been a world, a breath of fresh air for me. Cause I mean, when I um. My phone goes off all the time with my notifications. And I really enjoy seeing the kind words, the inspirational thoughts and, you know, prayers and thought. Um, um, oh, I don't cook every day. I don't cook every day, Muhammad. No, I don't do that. Yeah, I did get my button. And I took it to Florida with me to show my son and my daughter-in-law. They were so thrilled and happy to see it. Oh, my dog. I know my dog loves me. He does love me. I'm his treat machine, too. My son, not my son, my nephew is going to come over and hang it up. And my brother is going to come over and do some things for me around my house for me. He was over here yesterday and... um. He went around and I showed him everything that I, I would like for him to do. So he's going to, my brother's going to come over here and take care of some things for me. And my nephew is, um my nephew and my brother coming over here and do some things for me. 
So, thank you for life. So, you know, I got, I got some manly, manly help. <laughs> so my my brother and my nephew have really stepped up, you know, and stepped in. It's because my son lives out of state. And if my son was, you know, my son was here, he would um he would be doing it. But like I said, he lives out of state. So um unfortunately he's not here. But um my son has stepped in in other ways. Because um, I have cognitive um, disorder, so my son has stepped in in other ways, too. He's taken up, he stepped in where my husband used to help me with doing, managing things. My son has stepped in. So I'm very thankful. Um, I have a good support system. Because there are things that, um, and I did worry about that. Because there were things, certain things that my husband, um, took care of because I couldn't manage things because I don't do numbers well. I don't, I don't do numbers. Um, so my son has stepped in to make sure that I'm taken care of and my, you know, my daughter's taken care of. So I'm very appreciative of that. Yes. I'm, and my sister, my sister, she's a big help too. So, um, I'm very, um, very blessed and thankful that, you know, they haven't let me fall. And so, but my son is like the FBI. I told you he had me put that 360 thing on my phone and he's connected to my um, blood monitor, glucose monitor. And he is like the FBI, the Federal Bureau of investigation. My son keeps up with doctor appointments, prescriptions. He keeps up with where I am, my phone life battery. He keeps up with everything about me. He's worse than my husband was. But I know it's all in love. I know y'all won't let me fall either. Y'all really keep my spirits up. Because my son would, Mama, why are you going down covering the highway at 50 miles an hour? Yep, I've got this black power. <laughs> yeah, I've got this. He does. My son monitors. He monitors everything about me. He is. It's, I'm very proud of him. He's really, he really looking, looking out for his mother. And we talk every day. We talk every day. And, um. I'm going back in a few months. Um, him and his wife said, now this is your second home. They said, that's my second home. So I can go down. I can just come down, go down any time I feel like it. But um, I'm going back down when Caitlin gets out of school. Hey, dear Cupid and Lazarus. So kind people raise kind people. It's a beautiful cycle. And we can see it. And I know. Oh, that's so sweet. Yes. My grandmommy raised me. Yep. And my grandmother was very kind. And my grandfather was very kind. My daddy was kind too. My grandparents raised me. Now I was a booger now. I did. I got into some mischief. Like when that man yelled at me and he was going, he told my grand my granddaddy he was going to the pastor to pick out a cow. And I got there before he did, and I hid in the woods, and I set that bull on him because he yelled at me. And I'm a granddaddy, the man that wanted, the, wanted one of those little baby calves. And I hid in the bushes, and I, I set that bull off. Yes, I did. I was like eight years old. He shouldn't have yelled at me. I sure did. I hid in those bushes. I'm fine, Christian Eduardo. I'm doing good. I'm I'm doing good. Yeah, he he yeah he yelled at me. He yeah he screamed at me, and I got to that pastor gate before he did because I was like eight years old. I could run. He couldn't run, and because he was gonna buy one of those baby calves, and I set that bull off. I did. I set that bull off. 
and think about my grandparents knew me. They knew me and they knew I did it. <laughs> they knew they knew I did it. And I kept saying, I wasn't there. I wasn't over there. And, but they knew. They knew I did it. I got into I got into some mischief. I sure did. He shouldn't he shouldn't have yelled at me. Yep. Oh, I did some stuff. I mean, it was down in the country, you know. Hey, I was the only one on there. I was the only kid on that farm. I got into some stuff. I mean, I, I did something to one of those hens and that rooster chased me. I didn't know roosters would chase you. That rooster chased me and my granddaddy said, well, that's what you get. Shouldn't have been out there bothering those hens. I didn't know a rooster would protect a hen, but I found out the hard way. <laughs> yeah, I was always doing something. You you could you think when you're in you raised in the country you can't get into something or you could you find stuff to get into. I mean I buried the dog's tail on the some rocks. When Trixie got I got his tail off and on the rocks, he came and tackled me. That was my dog. He tackled me down to that ground. Oh, you making an Oreo cheesecake? Oh, cool. Lord, are you making an Oreo cheesecake? You know my son wouldn't share that cake. You know what he did? I took it down there frozen. It, it was it stayed frozen the whole time. Hold on. Hold on, guys. I'm sorry. It said some someone was in my backyard on my camera, so I had to check. I'm sorry. I was looking, seeing who was, you know, someone who was in my backyard. It's a little cat. It's a cat that has taken up in my backyard. I think she has babies because she comes out. Um, sometimes she comes out. I think she's, I think she has babies somewhere back there. How can you somewhere back there? How can you tell if a cat tell if a cat has babies somewhere? Cause I've never seen this cat before. Dad has babies somewhere. Cause I've never seen this cat before. Dad in my life, but she comes, she comes out and then she goes back, and it's always the same area. I wonder if she has babies. No, I'm allergic to cats. What's a feral? What's feral? No, she don't make any sound. Oh, I don't know. Oh, you talking about little chirps? You know, I hear something like that, but I thought they were birds. They're not birds. Oh, no, she's not wild. She's right, really calm, because she'll come out and she lays down. No, she just, she comes out and she comes down, she comes out and she lays down, she lays down by the air conditioner and then she goes back and you don't see her for the rest of the day, but she just is calm. I think she's got some babies because I've never seen her a day in my life. No cat has ever, ever been around here. Because you would think, you know, no cat has ever been around here. Yeah, no cats, no cats here. Now, I think they're, yeah, because I thought those were bird sounds. Because I keep getting um notification about, um and I said, you know, she, she must have just had them. Because I've never seen her, never seen a cat nowhere. And she's really pretty. Not that I would approach her, but she, uh, 
She only comes, she comes out a certain at a certain time. She's not out, out not out at all all day. She comes out of a certain time of the day and she'll lay down. Then she gets up. And then you don't see her anymore, but you she'll go back to wherever she came from. It's like she's looking for food or something. Yeah, that's what she does. She comes out and then she just she lays down by the air conditioner and then she um she lays down for a while. Then she gets up and then she goes back to wherever she came from. That's what she does. She does this every every day this week. I've watched her cuz she's setting off my um motion sensor and I watch her. She comes out goes to, straight to the air conditioner where the air conditioner is and she lays down and she lays down for a while and then she gets up and she goes back to where she came from. Because I mean she don't have number one I'm allergic to them and I'm scared of cats. I've always been afraid of cats, even as a kid. I'm afraid of cats. There's only one cat that I was not afraid of. And that's that we had a Siamese cat. I wasn't afraid of him. I wasn't afraid of Chaco because Chaco thought he was a dog. Yeah, I have a dog. I have a Shizu mix with the uh, little wiener dog. That's my Dusty Wessie. That's my baby. Hi, Wubba. I can't see that. Hard to see that. Oh, yes, I have. My, my dog is almost 15. He'll be 15 October. Hi, Karen. Karen. Yeah, I think she's got some babies out there. She don't go far. I'm not going to bother her. I don't want her to think I'm trying to kidnap her babies. Yeah, yep, handsome Dusty. I'm trying to get Dusty a girlfriend so he can move out. He need to go get him a wife. They'll bring him back. That's the scary. He, that's a scary cat. I love your videos. I always do your recipes. Oh, thank you. I'm glad you're doing those recipes. Uh, that's the old scary thing. He do nothing. Instead of Dusty protecting me. I have to protect him. He's no protector. I have to protect him. Thank you for sharing your talents. You're welcome. Thank you. I, you know, that's just something you know I love to do. Cause um, someone asked me, "You gonna put everything on YouTube that you cook?" I said, "I sure am." I said, "I'm not holding on to anything. I don't care about stuff like that." Um, which the um, you talking about the spaghetti squash lasagna, or you or the regular the regular lasagna? Hi, Sassy, Sassy K. What uh, I can't see. I'm good. How are you, Sassy K? I'm good. Oh, the squash. Oh, you know, that's one of my favorites. You know why? Because I can't digest pasta. So that's one of my favorites. Oh, you did? You like that macaroni and cheese? Oh, wait. <laughs> I have to drink the lacto the latte milk. We need a 100,000 special. What's that? Oh, well, thank you. Oh, you, oh, yeah. I think you'll like that red bird. 
and you can eat all you want. <laughs> you can eat all you want. The, yeah, that, the spaghetti squash, is that's what I use instead of pasta. Thank you. Yeah, I, that's what I, uh, it's my show, your grandma. Oh, now see, that's a compliment. I take it as a compliment when people say I remind them of their grandmother or their mother or their aunt. It's a compliment to me. Hey, Argentina. Thank you again. I, um, that's what I do. It's, um, yeah, that spaghetti squash is one of my favorites. Lots of love. Back at you, Mo Hatters. Thanks, Coldplay. Coldplay, have, have you had a good weekend? Hmm. California. Are you in a part of California that gets chilly? Oh yes. D four four gamer. I remember you from from the other channel. Not my channel. We we got, a lot of us met in um another blogger's channel. Hey, Red Bird, I'm eating ice. Oh. And you know what my friend says in California? I didn't know you guys had a uh, transit train. Because she was telling me her husband rides a train to work. And I did not know you guys had a train in California called the BART. It's pretty neat. It's got a lot of different lines. My favorite food is spaghetti squash pasta. Well, it's not pasta. Yeah, I know you love to hear the crunch. I can eat, I eat ice every day. Where's Metro? Is there New York? Thank you. The first experience I had on YouTube was when I made my first video. My husband had me make that video. I have a lot of favorite colors. I like pastels. Thank you, Cookie Cookie. <laughs> cookie Cookie. That's my that was supposed to be my brother's nickname. Cookie Coo Cookie. But they ended up calling him Cuckoo. And he lives up to it. He lives up to that. So his name, yeah, his name was supposed to be Cookie Cookie, <laughs> but his grandmother ended up shortening it, it to Cuckoo, and he lives up to it. He lives up to his name. Thank you, Wanda, for, for coming over, too. Yeah, yeah, Cuckoo. Yep, he lives up to it. They ended up shortening it when he was born. Shortly after he was born, they was calling him Kooky Kooky, but they shortened it to Cuckoo. I have so many different foods that I like. Like I said, he lives up to it. <laughs> he lives up to his name. Yeah, he lives up to Cuckoo. 
But we were, we used to tease him as a child, and we used to call him Cuckoo Bird. <laughs> we used to tease him and call him Cuckoo Bird. I used to get in trouble for calling him that, too. Cuckoo Bird. We're eight years apart. Even then, he lived up to that name. No, I've never tried Persian food. Is it spicy? If it's spicy, I I, I won't try it because I can't have spicy food. Why oh, have you laughing hard? <laughs> Thank you, Mariah. Thank you for the super. I don't know what that super chat, super laugh. Let's celebrate their first super on the live screen. Thank you, Mariah, for your for the super. Thank you for all. I thank all of y'all for your supers, your cash outs. I really appreciate it because what you know, it goes back into the grocery store because that's how I keep my channel going. It goes back into uh, me uh, keeping the channel going. I really appreciate that. You are so thank you. I really, you guys just don't know. You guys help me keep my you you know those those help me keep the channel going. Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna learn how to do shorts. I'm I'm still learning now. That I will tell you one thing, guys. I'm not doing memberships. I will not do that. You would never have to worry about me doing hiding behind membership walls. I'm not doing anything like that. I don't like I don't like memberships, and I'm not gonna do memberships. My my channel will always be free and open to everyone. That's it. That's just how I feel about it. So you all don't ever have to worry about me ever putting up membership walls. I'm not going to do that. Because I love you guys too much. And if it wasn't for you guys, you all, I wouldn't be able, I wouldn't be, my channel wouldn't be as successful as, as, as it is. So I'm not going to do that. I'm not doing that. So you don't have to worry about that. Hey, Pakistan. So I just want to let you guys know that. And the reason why you don't see me editing anything, because I'm just, I just want to keep it real and authentic. That's just it. I'm not doing all of that. I'm just, I just want to keep things real, authentic, real time. You just see it. If I mess up, you you get to see me mess up because that's just how life is. You mess up in the kitchen. You And, you know, you just keep going. I'm not going to throw something out and redo it. Food is too expensive to be throwing things out. As long as it, it if it hits the floor, that gets thrown out, okay? Yeah, we gonna we gonna let's just just get that out the way. If it hits the floor, it's bye bye. That's just it. If I throw it out, if it hits the floor, but rule of thumb, you can always you can add in, but you can't remove. Okay, if you put too much flour, you can't remove it, but you can always add some extra flour, right? Yeah, keeping it real. I'm not going to uh, do all, I can't do all that extra stuff. Yeah, I'm on, I, yeah, I, I saw that sometime I pop in, I do pop in and out on TikTok. I have a lot of support. I really do. I have a lot of support. Um, I have a, so much support. So much support. 
you know, I appreciate it. I really appreciate it. Thank you, Awesome. Hey, Awesome. I like the way you you spelled your name, your channel name, Awesome. Blue Beanie. You know, my I only know I only know how to make uh one African dish, and that's um jollof. I mean, oxtails with jollof rice. Oh, and fufu. That's two. That's because my mother made fufu. My daughter eats African food, but that's the only thing I know how to make. Thank you for supporting me, Morocco. That's it. I don't know how to make anything else. But uh, Redbird told me something about black rice. Oh, yeah. Oh, when I was pregnant, my friend Cece Biscuit, she's Nigerian. Oh, when I was pregnant with Caitlin, she made me jollof rice oxtails oh, all the time. I, I, I think I, uh, oh, she made me, oh, goodness. With the, what she used to say, onions, girl, onions, onions, my sister. She made me jollof rice all the time. Oh, it was so good. My mom made fufu. Mm. But I can't eat I can't eat that eat oxtails anymore. I never made the chicken. My daughter, when she orders uh from this African restaurant, she always gets chicken. She always gets cool, go play. Yeah, but um she always gets chicken. Cause I don't, yeah. Um I think she said, yeah, um, uh, it's black rice, and I want to try that. I want to try to make that. See, when someone gives me a rest of gives me a food from another country, I I get very curious when they start telling me about it. I get very curious about it, and then I go search it out, and then I want to make it. That's how I end up making those berrias tacos. And oh yes, see, uh, awesome! You eating good over there with that jollof and fufu. Mm-hmm. You eating really good over there. So I want to. I Redbird got me wanting to make this black rice. I, I'm too curious about it, and and now I gotta. I gotta. I gotta do this. I want to make this black rice. I don't know what goes with it. I gotta figure it out. It's an African. It's an African um food. I think it's African, South African. I don't know, but Redbird put that in my head, and I can't get it out of my head about this black rice because uh, it looks good, and I want to make it now. Thank you. Poop, poop, poop. No, it's not poop because you separated it. <laughs> poop, poop. Yeah. Red bread, I'm going to make that rice. As soon as I f look at some ingredients. Yeah, I'm going to get that. Because you put it in my head. It's Haitian. Okay, it's Haitian. Okay. All right. Oh, I need to call Marley. She's from Haiti. Yeah, I need to ask Marley. Oh, yeah. But Marley don't cook, though. She just eat. She don't cook. She'll not cook anything. Oh, poo. <laughs> I'm going to, you know, I like laughs, but I just took a break. Um, it's also called purple rice. Or it's called forbidden rice. Forbidden rice? Ooh. Why they call it forbidden rice? Purple rice, forbidden rice. Oh, wow. 
So black rice, purple rice, forbidden rice is all one rice. No, my fr my friend, Mar but you know what, Marley, that she speaks French, and every time she will um, be on the phone with her brother, I would tell her to tell her brother to say to me in French, in the park, and we have grapes, cheese, and wine, and he would say, he probably was lying, he probably saying get this crazy lady off the phone, but whatever he said, it sounded so good in French, I just would go wee wee. He probably was uh, blessing me out and called me crazy. They use dry Dijon, Dijon. Okay. They use dry Dijon, Dijon. You mean I got to go find that? I got to go to the Haitian market. Well, we have a lot of uh, uh, different African markets around over there where my mother stays because they have a really big Haitian population over there. An Ethiopian population. I can find anything related to any type of African cuisine over there. Oh, really? So I have to find the ingredients. I really want to do that. Because now I'm curious. Because of the colors. Because of the color. It looked good. I saw a picture of it and it looked really good. Like it had a lot of flavor to it, and now I want it. Hey, Auntie, I've been in the kitchen. You've been in the kitchen. Where have you been cooking? Omnifly. Where have you been cooking? Oops. Oh, yeah, it has the same antioxidants as it. Oh, I love eggplant. Oh, I love eggplant. Oh, really? And blackberries, too? Oh, it's got a lot of antioxidants. Well, I shouldn't have gone to look for it. I'm going to blame it on Redbird. She put it in my head. Oh, it has blackberries in it? And eggplant in it? Oh, hold on. We meet at the farmer's market when we got fish for your sister. I hope she enjoyed. Oh, yes. My sister loves red snapper and croakers. Oh, my God. I remember you. Yes, I remember you. She fried up that. She fried fried up them, them one of them red snappers. She those are her favorite fishes. Well, I know she cooked the uh, red snapper. My sister is a rice eater. She is a big time rice eater. So my grandmother used to call her a geechee because she ate so much rice. My sister would cook chicken and rice. Then make a rice pudding for dessert. That's how much she loved rice. Oh my goodness, I remember you. Did you uh, get all your fish? Did you go home and clean your fish, your fish yourself? I know my sister fiance is, um, he's Jamaican. That's why I learned how to make uh, uh, Jamaican food. Him. I learned it from him. Oh. Yeah, he's a great cook. Lord is a really good cook. Shopalicious. Hey, Shopalicious. You have such a sweet aunt, Shopalicious. Oh, you just cook you some bait snapper. And, and, and with rice, <laughs> you know my sister, huh? <laughs> oh, Houston, Texas. My son loved Texas. He said everything in Texas is big. She loved rice. Caitlin loves rice, too. I like rice pudding. 
But she did. My sister would cook rice and then turn around and make a rice pudding for dessert. You make your own recipes, candies. Oh, I do too. I mix up stuff. But I'm make I'm um I'm gonna make some red velvet um uh, waffles for breakfast. I'm gonna make Katie Pot some red velvet waffles. Yeah, we do need to cook together. But I can't um it's hard it will be hard for me to do to cook, do a live, because I get confused. Cause um the reason why I will get confused, I've had four mini strokes and I have a mess. So it I will it would be really hard for me to try to do that. I'm going to do the muffin pancakes with sausage. Oh, I've never heard of that. Yeah, so that's why I can't, I won't I can't do live cooking. I thought I would try it, but mm-mm. I wouldn't be able to complete that task. Oh, it's your recipe. Oh, you made it up. Yeah, I like making up recipes. Oh, she's so sweet. Your auntie is so sweet. She's sneaky, too. <laughs> Oh yeah, um, you know I had I came home on uh home health care, but I had some I had the love and support of my health team and my husband. So they and my willpower, my faith in God got me back. Oh, you do all you ha hair girl. Oh, I have a lot of hair. I have a lot of hair. A lot of hair. What is that one song? You could just bring mine to the farmer's market. Oh, you want some what? What do you want? Oh, bring... You know, I got to get to the farmer's market. You know, that's why I go all the time. I, I tell them I, like, I love the cow farmer's market. That's why I love to go. No, I have a lot of uh, I have a lot of hair. My sister, um, she's gonna corn roll because I normally keep it corn rolled down. She normally keeps the corn roll for me. Oh, she's sneaky in a good way. She has such a big heart, big heart, big heart. Thank you. Thank you. I'm. I just love you, y'all. Y'all give me so all these kind words. It just makes me blush. <laughs> yep, yeah, just makes me blush. I'm good. No, mine's is still just as thick. It really is thick and healthy. It's just, it's, it's really thick. No, I'm not doing any waffles in the morning. I cook today, so uh, I, have a, I have an appointment tomorrow morning, so I'm not cooking anything tomorrow morning. I've, I have appointments. So I won't be uh, cooking anything tomorrow morning. Now, um, I have my own twist on my red velvet waffles. You know, my mom is 83. We don't even gray. My mom, her hair is still just as black as that street out there. We don't gray. My sisters, they don't have gray hair either. We just don't gray. 
Yes, I'm feeling all the love. Good night, Tori. Sweet dreams. And have a blessed and restful sleep. And thank you for keeping me in your prayers. Oh, see my M. I have five more minutes. Good night, Kiara. You have a restful sleep as well. I always try to do an hour. To know your recipes fill my kitchen with pure magic. Oh, that's so sweet. No, Auntie, the kitchen is closed tomorrow. But I cook today. And um, because I have appointments tomorrow, I won't be cooking tomorrow. Okay, Angel, have a blessed night. We'll chat with you later. Okay, you too, Candice. You have a wonderful night. What is Caitlin and doing? <laughs> the rest when the restaurant open. <laughs> when I start selling, oh no, there'll be no restaurant and there'll be no selling. <laughs> you just strictly see me on YouTube. Just YouTube. I won't be selling anything. I'm sorry, no selling. Hey, amen. No, no YouTube, but it's almost time for my ginger tea. I drink a cup of ginger tea. It's, it's good for your, your stomach at night. It's almost time for my ginger tea. Yes, thank you all, and I appreciate everyone that has dropped in and stopped by, and and those of you that those that didn't weren't able to stop in and drop by. I, pre, well, I appreciate you all. Hey, we saw me on Tiki Taki. I'm doing good, Tori. Thank you, thank you for asking. And how are you, Tiki Taki? Yeah, I will continue to do what I love, what I like. Yes, I would I will put forth for effort to do more lives because I like I like running my big mouth. I really do because I like to talk. I like running my big mouth. Okay, guys. I must bid you good night. So I can go get my tea and I shall talk to you guys later. And I promise I will do, put forth a really big effort to do more lives. Okay. So my hearts, my tight hugs and kisses to all of you. Love you guys. Okay. You, everyone have a blessed night and sweet dreams. Okay. Bye-bye.